Flyer to be back with another reaction. Yo, everybody do reactions, but we just different. Because we gon' keep it real. Yes, sir. Yo, uh, man, so we back today with the one and only Mr. Oliver Anthony with uh, Rich Man's Gold. Uh, in the description, he said that he recorded this, recorded this song the same weekend um, as Richmond, north of Richmond, 90 Chevy, and I Want to Go Home, which we've all, we've done reaction to all of those songs, so I'm going to have it at the end of the song. If you guys want to go check that out, support the channel, be sure to go do that. Also, be sure to make sure to go, go to listen to the original. Why? Because we want to support Mr. Oliver Anthony and make sure that he know that he's been heard and that, hey, we rocking with his message, man. Uh, definitely, you know, take back America for America is, you know, is what we've been really pushing and uh, really what we really push on this channel as a whole, man. Uh, one thing I always say, uh, especially when I think something might be controversial or might, you know, lead to any type of controversy, any opinions expressed are of my own. I do not mean to offend or hurt uh, anyone. Um, if I do, fuck you. Because that's not what it's meant to be. If you really take it, it's really meant to, to create dialogue. It's really meant to create reflection. Um, and that's how we bring people together. And that's how we move the country forward as a whole. Is by creating dialogue to where we can have a conversation with one another and expresses and opinions while respecting each other's differences. With all that being said, let me shut the hell up. This was a long enough intro. Now let's get into what Mr. Oliver Anthony has to say. By the way, make sure that you guys are still for future content. You can do that by subscribing to the channel. Boop, let's go. <laughs> Like I definitely like um I definitely wanna buy some land back close to my parents and like just have a camper there, you know, like just when we, when we go visit, we don't have to be like a hotel or anything like that, cause it be hot as hell at my people place. Like Pop don't <laughs> you don't believe it they see it. It be hot as hell. It used to be cold growing up, but he got older, I don't know, his bones, he get colder faster, I don't know what's going on. But uh Pops, if you watching this, please start turning on the AC. Look, my kids might love it. My girl might love it. But your son be dying, bro. Dying. You won't born. Just pay bills and die. Hold up. Hold on. I, I, he talking that talk. We, we like when you talk that talk. Okay. Hold up. <laughs> Won't born, just pay bills and die. You won't born, just pay bills and die. Man, this guy, he got, he, with this song, he's really bringing that old country southern sound back to it. I mean, the kind that you would hear, uh, when you think of country, you think of, uh, the South. You think of an uh, old, you know, born, you know, bar, rent, you know, place where people are laughing, having a good time, listening to the jukebox. This is a song that'll be playing at that place, right? That's this the image of my mind that he's taking me to. Like this is a soundtrack to the perfect country movie, man. Um, you trying to sow Southern roots, and you trying to sow uh, a Southern sound. That's exactly what this is. Uh, sick agents are probably going crazy over this right now for uh, Southern South, so that's crazy. And by the way, just to address this, you weren't born just to work and die. And, you know, I, I stated uh, on one of my social media platforms actually today, which is crazy, that, you know, uh, I've worked at companies, small businesses, and Fortune 500 companies. And one thing that I've noticed is that you know, they've coined the phrase, leave your problems at the door uh, to put, because to them, to the company, uh, everything outside of work 
comes after work, if that makes any sense to you. And what that means is the job comes first and then it's everything else. When in actuality, um, I've seen people work in companies for 16, 30 years, um, you know, even just a day, but neither here nor there. But I've also seen people die and us be expected to come back to the office the following day and continue on as if nothing has happened. That company is still going to keep going. They're still going to find somebody to replace you because they have to. Not even because they want to, but because they have to in order to survive. And so all I'm saying is, put yourself first. At the end of the day, our family matters the most. Your family should matter the most. Whatever you do or whatever you enjoy should matter the most. Whatever fulfills you is what you should put your time, effort, and energy into, right? And then there's everything else like work or like other stress things like bills, right? At the end of the day, do what fulfills you. Do what makes you happy. And I understand there's the real world, but at the same time, you only get one life. Why work yourself to the bone to where you're not able to enjoy yourself and live the fruits of your labor? That's all I'm saying. All you need is a dog a shine, a crick in the back, and a, a good and warm and whole. Lord, you don't need that rich man's gold. And what it means by what it mean by that is sometimes we get so caught up and so fixated on the materialistic things in our life that we forget that the simple things is what complete us. Like family, having a friend, right, the dog, a uh, family, the woman, the child, right, a, a roof over our head is what the good Lord says, or, you know, a place to live, a shack, you know, like, the simple things in life is what matters the most, you understand what I'm saying, and that's what I want us to remember as we go through daily life, you know, at the end of the day, you know, that money, that dollar will always be there, but, you know, that, that friend, that family member, that, that's something that will always exist. And so don't take life for granted, man. You only get one. Live your best life. Live it to the fullest. My granddaddy grew up on dirt floors. The whole county was dirt poor. Mama died when he was four. What a damn shame. Grew the back of hand and raised dogs. Seven youngins and some old dogs. I reckon they was living high on the hog way back in their day. He say you want corn to just pay bills and die. A crick in the back and a, a good and warm and old horse don't need that rich man's gold. Man, Oliver, I actually like this one. Uh, just as much as I like Richmond and North of Richmond, right? And mainly because of the lesson. Like, at the end of the day, uh, especially in today's society, we get so caught up on the here and the now and so fixated on the things that money can do and the things that money can buy that we forget to appreciate the things that don't cost money. You know, time. You know what I'm saying? Time don't cost money. And if it did, you know, the richest people in the world will buy all the time in the world, right? And so that's why we have to appreciate the time that we've been given, the little time that we have in this life, and value the ones that are around us, and value the ones that we love um, and cherish them, you know? At the end of the day, man, uh, you only get one life. And I've said this throughout the video, 
a couple of times, but make sure you live it to the fullest. Man, thank you guys so much for tuning into the channel. Uh, make sure if you you know you want to subscribe for future, you want to stay tuned in for future content. Do that by subscribing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, one thing about this channel, I love feedback. I love replying to you guys when I get a chance. If I'm inspired, uh, watch other videos. Um, if you find anything that you don't like that I said, speak on it. You know, I, I promise I won't feel a certain type of way about it. You know, that's what this is about. I say things not only uh, to cause controversy. That's not my intention. I say it to either cause reflection or to create dialogue. Because at the end of the day, my children has to live in the future that I'm creating uh, and that the world that we're creating. So uh, I want them to go outside of this home and be able to understand and respect other people's opinions and beliefs while also being able to value or respect their own. Um, and with all that being said, man, uh, you have to practice what you preach and kids learn by seeing what others do and seeing what you do. So I'm being that example. Uh, and I'm putting this all on the forefront. That's why I have this channel. I'm not perfect. I'm not Jesus. Never said I was, uh, never said I was, not claiming to be, not trying to be. I'm just trying to be me. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, to the, uh, the, uh, for tuning in man. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned. Hey, we only going up from here, guys. Later. Hey, Alvin, if you happen to see this man, we love you. <laughs> Later.